The competitive race to create a humanoid robot that can become the ideal human assistant is intensifying. The German company Neuro Robotics has released a new video of its robot 4NE1, which is capable of performing various household and industrial tasks, such as ironing clothes, sorting items and carrying boxes. According to the manufacturer, 4NE1 possesses unique cognitive abilities that allow it to interact with people safely and naturally. A key feature of the robot is its ability to learn. Thanks to artificial intelligence, 4NE1 can analyze its environment and adapt its actions to changing conditions. This makes it a versatile assistant, capable of handling a wide range of situations. Elon Musk announced that Tesla plans to deploy over 1,000 Optimus robots at its factories next year. He stated that this would significantly increase the company's value. Musk emphasized that the market for humanoid robots is approximately 1 billion units per year, and Tesla aims to capture at least 10% of that market. According to him, Tesla plans to produce the robots at a cost of about $10,000 per unit and sell them for $20,000. Recently, the company announced that two Optimus robots are already working autonomously at one of its factories. Musk added that next year, Tesla intends to deploy between 1,000 and several thousand robots at its facilities, although deliveries to customers are not yet planned. Elon is confident that by 2026, Optimus will become a fully programmable robot capable of performing a wide range of tasks. The Optimus, also known as the Tesla bot, is a humanoid robot designed for various tasks. Standing 173 centimeters tall and weighing 73 kilograms, it can carry loads of up to 20 kilograms and lift up to 68 kilograms. The robot is equipped with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, providing a full day's charge, and uses about 100 watts at rest and up to 500 watts while walking. Optimus can walk, squat, balance on one leg, and lift and move objects. It is controlled by AI similar to that used in Tesla vehicles, relying on visual navigation and capable of learning real-world tasks by mimicking human actions. The robot can connect to Wi-Fi and LTE, allowing for easy remote software updates. Engineer Dave Novinsky from the YouTube channel Dave's Armory created a unique amusement ride for his children, using an industrial robotic arm called the KUKA KR-150. The manipulator moves a seat mounted at the end of its arm along pre-programmed trajectories, simulating the experience of a real amusement park ride. To enhance the immersive effect, a screen is placed in front of the child, synchronizing visuals with the robot's movements, giving the impression that they are riding a real roller coaster. Special attention has been given to safety. The robot's movements are limited to ensure they don't exceed 1G, guaranteeing a comfortable and safe ride. Additionally, the setup includes safety belts, laser sensors, and an emergency stop button that can instantly halt the robot if necessary. The German company Schunk has developed the Schunk Five Finger Hand, a manipulator that mimics the human hand and provides high precision and sensitivity when gripping objects. The manipulator is equipped with nine actuators, allowing it to perform complex operations with objects of various shapes and sizes. Thanks to its elastic gripping surfaces and built-in electronics, the Shunk hand can safely operate in collaborative environments where robots interact with humans, such as on production lines or in robotic service. Another unique feature of the SVH is gesture control, which enables it to facilitate communication between humans and robots. The primary application of this robot involves tasks requiring high delicacy, such as assembling electronics or handling medical equipment. Rethink Robotics Company has introduced a new generation of collaborative robots in the form of Sawyer, designed to automate industrial tasks and capable of working alongside humans without barriers. Sawyer adapts and learns, surpassing human speed in its operations. The robot is equipped with a single mechanical arm featuring seven degrees of freedom, allowing it to reach hard-to-access areas and operate in confined spaces. It weighs 19 kilograms, with an arm length of 1.2 meters and a payload capacity of 4 kilograms. The robot's interactive screen, which displays its face, simplifies interaction with operators.
Built-in force and torque sensors enable Sawyer to monitor its movements and avoid collisions, ensuring safe operation near humans. The robot is also equipped with a high-resolution camera that helps it recognize objects and perform tasks requiring visual precision. The Chinese company Kepler Exploration Robot Company, which introduced its latest general-purpose humanoid robot Kepler 4Runner this winter, has announced an update to the robot model. The developers promise to shock the world with their new release. Currently, the robot stands at 178 centimeters tall and weighs 85 kilograms. The 4Runner series robots are intended for use in industries such as manufacturing, logistics, facility inspections, and high-risk tasks including outdoor operations. The robot's body and limbs are covered with colored decorative panels, and its hands are equipped with human-like manipulators featuring five movable fingers. The facial part of the head, which resembles a helmet, is covered by a black light permeable visor. Beneath it, there's a wide-angle binocular camera. Kepler can hear using an array of four long-range microphones and communicates via a voice module through built-in speakers. The preliminary cost of the robot is set at $30,000. Disney has showcased the training process of their highly anticipated robot rabbit, designed to perform tricks on roller skates. The robot resembles the main character from the animated film Zootopia, a rabbit named Judy wearing a special helmet and vest. In addition, the robot stands on roller skates, enabling it to perform various tricks. The rabbit robot is unlike typical robots as it can move in entirely new ways. It can fall, get up, somersault, and even manage to free itself from a box on its own. However, the robot's main highlight is its ability to skate at high speeds with excellent balance. During testing, the robot was lifted to a height of up to 19.8 meters. It fell from the same height without a safety net and then got up on its own. In the future, this development is planned to be used in new Disneyland parks as a food and beverage carrier. The Chinese company Jieluo Intelligent has introduced its new development in the form of a robot designed for automated wafer handling in semiconductor factories called Gyrobot. This robot falls into the category of automated mobile robots and is intended for transporting semiconductor wafers in clean rooms. Gyrobot uses SLAM laser navigation technology and is equipped with six axes for handling objects such as wafer cassettes with diameters of 8 and 12 inches, as well as other components required in semiconductor manufacturing. The robot's navigation system provides accuracy within 10 millimeters, and its manipulators can operate with a precision range of 0.1 to 1 millimeter. Its design allows for precise positioning with a high response speed, making it ideal for automated production lines. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.